Sadie here. I'm going to show you how to slice your Pullman loaf to prepare for Thanksgiving stuffing. Um, this is one of my favorite activities to do every year. No, maybe not the slicing part, but making stuffing. Um, but with a little bit of painless slicing, you too can have amazing stuffing. So, um, I recommend chilling your loaf first. So you might have noticed Bread Seriously is a super moist product. Uh, and so it'll firm up really nicely with a couple days in the fridge. So this has been in the fridge for three days. Um, and I'm going to get my nice big cutting board, a bowl, or, or you can put it right on a tray. And uh, your favorite non-serrated knife, make sure it's sharp. That'll be really helpful. If you absolutely have to, you can use a bread knife because it doesn't really matter for stuffing whether you get um, like crumbly bits because sometimes a serrated knife can be a little rough on our loaves. So I like to cut um, nice thick slices for stuffing, about a half an inch or so. Uh, you can even go thicker, you can do one inch slices, it depends on the final um, texture of the stuffing that you want. I like a nice crispy stuffing, um, so thicker is better. And I'll just cut a couple of slices, stack them up on the board, and cut them into about nine pieces. Because this has been refrigerated, they don't all stick together, which makes it really easy. And then we've got beautiful cubes. Um, don't worry if your cubes are not super uniform. You can also get your kids to help with this, because um, all shapes and sizes will work out deliciously for your stuffing. And also the crusts are really good in stuffing, because they'll add a, a little bit of extra caramelized flavor, a little bit of extra texture, so make sure to use those lovely bread heels. You don't want to just discard those. And there you have it. So you can do this in advance, and you can freeze these, or you can keep them in the fridge until you're ready. Uh, my favorite way to make stuffing is to bake these fresh um, instead of have them be stale. So I'll pop them in the oven for like an hour before making my stuffing until they're basically really toasty and a little bit caramelized on the outside and still soft in the middle. Basically all like tiny pieces of toast. So I'll just spread it out on a sheet pan like this, bake them maybe at 375 or 400, depending on how hot your oven runs, um, and just check them every 20 minutes or so, give them a toss. They don't need olive oil or anything. And you will get mm, the most amazing chef's kiss stuffing. So I hope that helps. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and stay safe.